In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how we can make a key tag in the shape of a love heart. To begin with, I need to start with a sketch. The sketch tool is over here on the left. And when I click that, I get a message over here which says select a sketch plane. For this drawing, I'm going to begin using the top plane. So you can see now that I've clicked the top plane, that window over here has changed to indicate top plane. In order to get the best view of my sketch, I'm going to come here and select the top view. I'm going to start by drawing a circle. I'm going to draw the circle using the three point circle option. I'll start the three point circle here on a imaginary center line above the origin point. I'm going to move the mouse out, click again, place the circle, and in this case, I just want to keep that circle fairly even. The next thing I'll do is draw a line, and the line is going to link to the origin, and then come across to the circle, and I'm going to link that line with the edge of the circle. Now I'm going to do a second line, again, beginning at the origin, this time coming and linking with the first point of that circle. Now I'm going to take the trim tool here. I'm going to trim the part of the circle that is in between the triangle section. And finally, I'm going to use the mirror sketch tool over here. Now on first click of the mirror tool, we're asked to select a mirror line. The mirror line is going to be this one here. We then need to select entities to be mirrored. I'll select that part of the circle and that straight line. And finally, I'm going to use the trim tool again trim that central line. Now the shape of the heart looks like it's ready to extrude, but if we zoom in, we'll see that it's actually not quite ready to extrude yet because we have these two overlapping vectors and they are going to make the extrude pattern unable to be calculated. So to fix this, I'll just select the trim tool again and I'll come here and trim those two lines. Before I complete the extrude, I'm just going to change the view back to isometric. I'll zoom back in a little there. Now I can click the extrude tool here and you can see that my preview has generated automatically off of that sketch. All that's left to do is to Change the depth there to three millimeters and click the tick. And there we have our 3D extruded love heart shape. The next thing to do is to put some text in the middle of this and also to create a hole or putting a key ring. To do this, I'm going to create a new sketch. This time, when I select the sketch plane, I'm actually going to Select the top face of the heart. Once again, I'll change the top. I'm going to come over here now to the text tool. I'm going to draw a box for the text to go into, and I'm going to type text that I want into that box, and I'll click the tick. Now we can see the text doesn't fit within the bounds of the Ah, this is a small problem. To fix this, I'm going to use the transform tool whilst I'm still in the sketch. You can find the transform tool by clicking here in the patterns, and it's at the bottom there. So now that the transform tool is selected, we need to select the things that we want to transform. So I just drag and drop a box around the text 
and using these different arrows here we can change some of the details of that text so we can move it along the x and y axis we can also use this arrow here to scale it and we could use this handle here to rotate when i'm done transforming the sketch i can click the tick there and you'll see that that text has been regenerated the next thing i'm going to do is sketch a small hole up here in the corner so that a key ring can be put through the art to do this i'm just going to right click and edit sketch i'll change the circle back to a center point circle and i'm going to place that small circle just over here i'll use the dimension tool which is here and i'll change that to three millimeters changing the dimension of that circle has thrown things out a little bit and i'd like to reposition that hole so to do this i'm once again going to select the transform tool this time i'm going to transform the circle and lastly i'll click and drag over the text i'll scale that again and reposition it after clicking the tick i can now go to the extrude tool here I'll change the type of extrude to remove and I'll select sketch. I'm just going to change the view back to isometric and zoom in and you can see the preview a little more clearly. I'll change the end type of the extrude to through all. Click the tick. There we have it. The love heart tag is ready to be laser cut or 3D printed.